like, so by writing this, I was doing what I was not supposed to do. I was interning, and, like, I was a business major, so uh, poetry is not in the curriculum. Um, <laughs> Yeah, That's like weird. accounting is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so so yeah, this is this is that. He wakes up at seven fifteen each morning from the same dream that one day poetry will be all he needs to get by and self actualize. But when he wakes up, reality dictates a different plot line defined by a nine to five climb up the corporate ladder, resulting in fat cats getting fatter with few crumbs trickling down to his platter. They say he's a player in the wrong game. They say he's a white kid with a black name. He wants to be off the chain, but he's profiled like LinkedIn. Wow. Synced into a place where PCs feels like, feel like nooses, where caffeine substitutes for creative juices, where the mouse and the monitor cock block the pen and the paper, and these beats bump and bump and kate out, the only thing keeping his sanity on lockdown and his spirits uptown with the theaters. See, he strives to find the key to free himself from the Goldman Sachs shackles, smocking and mocking his creativity because he feels like a part of the chain, chain, chain of fools chose a desk over love. The ones with no read the soul put money above passion, and it's fashionable to get that paycheck. And it's easy to be too bashful to hop up on stage and spit some hip hop style slam in front of an audience of priests, praying that they see an inner, uh, praying that da da da. Rewind! Like I said, old shit. Oh, yes, thank you for the rewind, right? Um, and it's easy to be too bashful to hop up on stage and spit some hip-hop style slam to an audience of priests hoping these confessions bring them inner salvation and praying that they don't see another Malibu's most wanted overcompensating for a lack of melanin, but simply an aspiring poet attempting to break free from mental solitary confinement. So secretly each day he zones out of his daily tasks and locks in on something, anything that'll take him out of his chair into the Valhalla he is so desperately in pursuit of. He kills time and vibes until the clock strikes five, which is when he dives out the door and cruises home, soothed and swooned by the subwoofer boom, boom, booming out the back of his bass-filled trunk. Now that the day is done, he grasps for an ice-cold anything in the fridge and waits for night to arrive. And anxiety builds as insomnia creeps through the shadows. This is a daily demon defeated only by a pin because Ambien just doesn't do the trick anymore. He pours his bottle of anxiety and stress into a shot glass. He knows that depression makes for a shitty chaser, but he's fucking fresh out of happy. Finally, he relinquishes his heart and soul onto paper and continues to test to see if he has what it takes to make it as a poet. Woo! Woo!